So you want to be promoted. Congratulations. Welcome to the club. You guessed it. There are many who pursue the same goal. But that's not why you are here, right? You are here because you want to know why your boss doesn't promote you. Maybe you've been in the company longer than anyone else. Maybe you spend a lot more time in the office than anyone else, cleaning up the tasks that others fail to see. Or maybe you're just plainly a lot more competent than all the colleagues around you. And yet here you are, you are not promoted. And in order to understand why, we first of all need to understand what it takes to be promoted. Do the work. Needless to say, if you're not good at what you do in your current job, that promotion isn't happening. We sometimes idolize people that are the jack of all trades, but that's not really the common route to a promotion. It's much easier for people to notice you when you establish yourself as an expert. Make time to do some tasks that you would do once you are promoted. Are you having a wider view of the world than just your job? Are you taking the initiative even if you are not in charge yet? Because if you do, people will start to see you as a natural leader. Also, build the right relationships. Having the right set of soft skills becomes essential as you climb the career ladder. There have been numerous leadership meetings that I've been part of where I heard sentences like, Lucy is doing an excellent job in her field, but before we can promote her, we'd like her to spend a little bit more time to develop her leadership skills. And also very important, have a plan B. Because if you're fully dedicated to your job and fully committed to the company that you're working in right now, you can't negotiate. Make sure that you keep an eye on the opportunities beyond your company. So those are the key factors to be promotable. But even if you have them all, there are a few pitfalls that I have observed that meant that your boss won't promote you. The first one, you don't take feedback. The harsh truth is that the higher you climb your career ladder, the more criticism you will attract from inside and outside the company. And if you're then seen as somebody who is defensive or not taking criticism well, your boss may have reservations putting you up for that promotion. Number two, you are indispensable. I've seen that plenty of times. Maybe it's the fear that somebody comes and can do the job better than you and then you will lose your job. So you make sure that everybody around you knows that you are the only one who has all the skills to do this particular job properly. Congratulations, you have now locked yourself in. There is no way your boss will promote you because nobody else can do the job that you're currently in. Number three, you don't keep up with change. A few years back, I was very strongly opposed to the whole idea of working from home. I thought it stifles creativity and it made work a lot more cumbersome than it needs to be. But if I hadn't changed my attitude over the years, there is no way that I could lead a team today or be promoted in today's world. So make sure that you understand the changes in your industry because your boss wants to know that once you are promoted, you're open to change and development. Now, if you're still not promoted, there are a few options that you have. First of all, being passed over for promotion isn't the end of the world. It actually can be a huge learning opportunity as you find out what truly matters in your company. Maybe for you, it can also be a nice kick in the pants to get you down that right path. So take your lessons learned and keep that promotion in sight. And then, yes, there is the plan B. You can go to another organization. I would only advise you to do that once you fully understand why you haven't been promoted. Yes, it may very well be your boss that's the problem. But if he or she isn't, I want to make sure that you don't take those problems into the new role and face the same issues. But if you are finally ready to move on, to go to another organization, another job or another career, here are a few tips that help you along the journey. I will see you next time. Take care.